Hi guys, welcome back to FinLife. Today we'll be talking about a company which is into the field of engineering and majorly deals in the sector of casting and forging. The company's market cap is 13,965 crores right now and when one year ago when we made the video of the company that time the company's market cap was 14,600 crores approximately. Overall, the company's earning per share has been increasing, the sales has been increasing and the company is faring pretty well. The company has not even corrected a lot in the COVID-19 lockdown and the uh, crisis and epidemic and uh, it is holding up pretty strongly as compared to the other stocks which have been falling and tumbled down approximately 30 to 40 percent. If we talk about the company, the market cap of the company stands at 13,965 crores whereas the asset base in the company is at 4,032 crores. Debt is in the company is 111 crores so if you compare it with the asset base the debt is approximately negligible in the company. Book value of the company stands at 373 crores, uh, 73 rupees. So if you are getting the price of the stock anywhere below three, uh, seven, uh, 373 rupees, it can be a good deal provided there is nothing fundamentally wrong in the company. The sales in 2019 came out to be 2,967 crores whereas the company made a profit of 510 crores on the sales of 2,900 crores. So that means that the company is operating on a profit margin of 17.21% which is pretty awesome. Further continuing, we can see that the earning per share of the company from 2015 to 2019 has grown at the rate of 4.34% and in 2015 it was 45.69 and now it is at 54.16. Assuming that the earning per share of the company will continue to grow at this level, we can expect that by 2024, the company's new earning per share at the rate of the prevailing earning per share growth rate, the new earning per share of the company will come out to be approximately 67. The company's trade receivables are pretty decently managed and are in line with the numbers of the sales. So they are not increasing at a massive rate and the receivables are not being hoarded by the uh, people whom the company is selling materials. The prices of the stock in 2015, the price of the stock was somewhere around 1000 rupees. And in 2019, it grew to approximately 1750, but now it has corrected to approximately 14 and 1460. So overall, the company's correction in this period has been around 15 to 20 percent only in the COVID lockdown uh, correction. If you see the PE band, usually the PE band is pretty stable and fluctuates between 21 and 32. So in order to calculate the future returns, we can expect that we can just simply multiply the minimum PE of 21 by the future expected earning per share of 2024 that is 67 to get what target that we can see uh, in the price. So the target of the stock lies somewhere between 435 and 1229. So currently we are feeling that the company is overvalued and if you are holding AIA Engineering Limited, you should consider, you can hold it but you should not make new positions. We are not really expecting that the company company's price will zoom up massively uh, in the coming future. The company is ethical with BSR and Co LLP it's, uh, as its auditors and the return on net worth and capital employee numbers. You can see them on the screen from 2015 to 2019. The return on capital employed and the return on net worth has been managed pretty decently. The operating, investing and financing cash flows are also managed properly and the company makes quite a good amount of money uh, as compared to the pro as if you see the profit margins of the company. Nearest support stands at 1250 rupees for the stock price and the nearest resistance stands at 1650. So overall the company is strong and the mutual fund and institutional holders uh, holding also uh, is pretty confident about the company and has a, a holding of approximately 36% in AIA Engineering Limited. The company delivers only 0.6% as dividend, so don't expect a lot of dividend from, from the company. Liquidity in the company is also pretty stable. So overall, 
AIA engineering can not be a very good investment right now but if you are holding the stock keep holding because you might just get a little bit of recovery uh, with uh, some good news in the industry and uh, you'll be able to get out of the stock at levels of approximately 1700 or so and then you'll be able to book decent profits or if you're not in profit right now you'll be able to get out at a decent price so that's about it for this video if you've uh, not yet subscribed click on the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you keep on receiving such videos signing off Siddhant Goel from finlife happy investing